everyone's individual channel names. We're going to ping everyone near the end of the video, but thank you so much for joining me today. I want to start. I want to get right into the show. Mm -hmm. We're, be we're beginning. Yeah, Let's do it. With something that you beat that didn't come out this mm. year. Your favorite game. Something that you beat that did not come out yours. Now, originally, a little peek behind the curtain. I, am I named this the backlog category. Brandon had a much better idea for the backlog category. So we're going to be oh. doing that one next. His actual <laughs> wow. good idea instead of my bad idea. We're going to be doing that next. But first, I wanted to literally make this a talking point just so I can talk about a game called Inscription. Oh, oh hell yeah. And how oh, great of a yeah, game. No. Encryption oh, was that is something I actually got to prime time drought. I had nothing else to play. I heard inscription came to PS4, PS5, whatever, and then I went to play it. And wow, it was it was as good as everyone said. And I was not spoiled for a single aspect, so everything that happened was a surprise. And I won't spoil yeah. anything here. I just want to uh, spiel one more time about how much I loved it. I fell in love with. The once the middle portion of the game, I said act two, I guess act two, when that happens that I fell in love with the game. And then when the. The additional layer of the game began happening, I fell in love with it even more. So I love it because it is a game. That it is a story in a game that can only be told through video games, and I'm a big fan of. Games made a story made around our medium versus. We tried to be a movie. Loved Definitely it. a video game ass video game. He said it, know. everyone. He said it. Thank Hell you so yeah. much. Very, now, very video game, video game. It is game. very video game. Before we, before we move on, anyone want to talk about a description? Uh, yeah, I would, I would love to talk about Please. inscription. Oh, my God. Yeah, fantastic Please, video game. Um, I love the, the lo-fi aesthetics going on mm. in that video game. I um, absolutely love the, the mystery element. Yeah. There's so many elements in that game i think is is an important part to take away from that not only do we have a fantastic card game um yes we have we have an adventure game we have mm -hmm. a, a a little bit of horror going on here uh some some old school pc adventure bullshit yes. going yeah. on F yeah FMV stuff yeah uh, the one yeah, the yeah, only some, some time i've FMV ever said this stuff. but i genuinely wish i played it on pc mm -hmm. for, that was for where things I, that that it happens in the game. I, I was like, oh, this would have been so much cooler if it, I was on my computer. Yeah, I, orig I originally played the game on the computer, but I didn't get to like the the halfway point, the second mm. act, if you will. Um, mm. And when, when it came out on PS5, I finally kind of dug into it more. And yeah, when, mm. when the game starts opening up and kind of exposing itself to you, I think it really becomes something very special. Um, and yeah, yeah, I, I very much appreciate that game as well. Um, I, it the the intersection of all the elements i think is what really interests yep. me about that game uh just just all of, it's crazy to me that someone built something like that with just yeah. so many um you know layering elements to it so uh, definitely a really really dope game yeah it's going to be very similar to a game that we'll talk about later uh emmett anything on inscription before we move on to you um, I I can't wait to play it. I have bought it a long ass time ago, and by a long ass time ago, maybe like four or five months ago. The classic Emmett um, story. Yeah, I can't tell you how many games I buy, and I'm like, can't wait to play it. Oh, oh, life is happening. Goodbye, <laughs> dude. I see Emmett empty his wallet on Twitter like every week, bro. Like oh, these are some of the best like, games I bought this straight month. Up. I, yeah, I, yeah. I hear him as he's emptying mm -hmm. his wallet mm -hmm. into the void. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know what? It it that has actually affected a slight thing in 2023 that I want to do, where I feel like I I talk more than I do too mm. much when it comes to Twitter, and I, I want to cut that, that out by a large degree. I want to cut that out. So it's the only time I've said this because I haven't tweeted about this because this kind of <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't, you don't want to exactly. be one of those people that announces that they leave Twitter on Twitter. Like exactly. exactly, of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, that's, that's something I'm definitely cognizant of. So I'm going to try and chill out on that. I, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to do this thing, guys. I like to just one day just come up and be like, hey, I did this thing. Let me talk in past tense because that means I did some shit. Yeah, um, I, I feel that. Yeah. I feel it hardcore. I'm, I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's just something in general. But yeah, as far as description goes, I uh, can't wait to play it. Looks like a great game. I'm sure it is a great game. Um, now that you're telling me you should have played it on PC, I'm going to 
play it on my PC as soon as if you haven't noticed, I've been looking down a lot because I'm on my tablet. That's where I'm recording from, but my computer's <laughs> up here. So that's once my PC that actually should be working, that isn't working right now. Once that's working, then yeah, inscriptions on the list. But eh, we'll give it some time. Yo, um, rain or storm, Emmett's guy... here. Wait, what'd you say? I said the rain or storm, Emmett is here. Oh, exactly. Bingo, bingo. <laughs> as you were saying. Brandon, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just saying, I'm an IT guy, bro. I got you. If your computer is oh. busted, like, hit me up. I'll help you out. Like, no big gonna, deal. I'm not going to force you to get on a plane to fix this. I might have another friend who's an IT guy that can help, but uh, That's we'll fair. see. That's fair. There's we'll a see. lot of us out there, so. Thank God for all of you. Turning it on <laughs> and turning it back off, Emmett. See, it's been doing that on its own. Oh, no. it's, it's trying to fix special. itself. That's a special one. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a drive it's error, but we'll figure it out later. Um, in any case, yeah, inscription's cool. Fuck yeah. Damn it. Please tell me your favorite game that you beat that didn't come out this year. Favorite game that I beat that didn't come out this year. Uh, I'll say this. There's another game that I was going to talk about, but I talked about it on a different podcast, and I haven't had a chance to talk about this game that I'm going to talk about. The one I that probably is actually my favorite game that I played this year is Dusk. Uh, First-person shooter, New Blood Entertainment published it. Um, classic if you like if you like your unreals your old school boomer shooter aesthetics as they say um it's excellent it, it reminded me a lot of quake live that i used to play back in the day except oh it's single player and here's some really cool set pieces and blah 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 dusk is great if you want to hear me talk about that i talked about it on the eight bits holiday special as one of my favorite games of the year so uh go check that out that's i talked about it on twitter within the last week or so but i'll i'll share it again before this episode goes out so y'all can see that um but in any looks case awesome yeah, Dusk is really cool. I highly recommend that. Deck Verified, it's on Switch as well. Like, go go get on that. But the game I'm going to talk about here is Severed Steel, another first-person shooter. Okay. Um, one that I'm hoping all of you picked up when it was free on Epic Store during the holidays. Uh, they were giving I away... A... Up. I did too. Oh, I, I did too. Oh, no. I did the thing where it's like, oh, I'll get to that. Yeah, you know? me too. Yeah, It was I like saw, the day before Christmas, right? And... Something like that? Say again? It was, it was the day before Christmas, right? Or is it the day after? It was one of it those days, been... and I was like, I'll get to it, and I was way too busy. I didn't get to it. Yeah, I want to say it was the day before Christmas. It feels... I, I think it was the 23rd, actually, specifically. Um, but in any case, yeah, so they gave it away for free, so if you happen to look at Epic Store that day, boom, congrats. But here's why you should actually play it and not just claim it. Um, it's basically, what if we took the slow motion, like, sh shoot a bunch of grunts of, like, the Fear franchise, and what if we just made it as acrobatic as Titanfall 2 and put it all together? And also, what if we like ripped off one of her arms and gave her an arm cannon so she can just like shoot through cover and like go through walls and stuff and just make holes? Um, it's a lot of crazy elements in one, and it is so great. It's it's the only game I played twice this year. I'll say that. I played it all the way through on PC through the Epic Store because I bought it on sale last year. Uh or 2021 now oh boy new year huh? um i played it on there and then i bought it again on steam just so i could play it on my steam deck and it was great both times i love it both times and i i already said dusk is probably going to be on my top 100 list severed steel the more i think about it probably deserves a spot on that list just as much so um yeah severed steel is incredible uh and it's very short too it's like a three-hour game like just to play through the single player and then there's like a roguelike mode on top of that there's a level editor that people are going crazy with it's a lot of game for not a lot of money so yeah definitely check that out it's on consoles as well playstation xbox all that good stuff yeah i actually um i saw your post for this about this the other day you you were sharing somebody else's twitter post or something like that and i had heard other people talk about it and as soon as i heard you talk about it i was like oh shit this is something I gotta. This is something I gotta look into. This is something that uh, I'm missing out on. So I, I have, I have uh, downloaded that now, and and I just need to play it. So, uh, Severed Steel is on, is on my backlog now. Hell yeah, we got another one, Steely Boys. <laughs> Steely Boys. Steely oh, Boys. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> We're Steely Dan up in here. Brandon. Hell yeah. You are forgiven if you don't have something for this category. As he just learned minutes, what the actual oh. category was. But did you have something that? You loved it from this year that didn't come out for this year. Um, yeah, uh, totally. Actually, I have, a, I have a super weird one. So oh. check this out. Mm. Um, I got into uh, uh, I got I dabbled with some emulators earlier this year. Mm. Uh, All right. And, um, of course, with games started, that you I, own. 
No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> not, not, of course, not you, own, I own. Of course you fact, own all these. It was, uh, yes, of mm. course. L legally speaking, of course yes. I own all these. Um, this was, I actually played a English ROM translation what? of a Super Nintendo game called Tokimeki Memorial. Oh my god, no you didn't. I did. <laughs> I played it three times this year. Oh um, my god. And I fell in love with that game. Oh my god. Wow. I don't know if I'm sure some of you have seen Tim Rogers um That's why I'm Mickey Memorial out. review. Uh amazing, amazing review of one of my favorite YouTube videos of all time. Um it it got me going. And I, I've been waiting for a Tokimeki Memorial like translation or something like that. I just want to point out right now that the translation is terrible. Um, I, I, I would probably recommend to most people that you should either wait um, for a better translation or learn Japanese. <laughs> learn Japanese, yeah, because you're never going to see that game come, come to English uh, speaking countries. So anyway. I played this game about three times, um, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, the, the The translation was rough, but I was able to sort of see through the lines and really, really got into that game over a couple weekends. And um, I highly recommend it to anyone who is interested in RPG mechanics or uh, just old Super Nintendo games or dating sims with weird shit going on like it's <laughs> it, it, it's a dating sim but it goes like so much further than that like you're you're dealing with like a day-to-day -day rpg mechanics where you're kind of building on your character and building these stats to interact with these characters and it really is a very very special experience um i'm pretty sure it's produced by the dude who does Castlevania and I think Hideo Kojima had a had a hand in it at a certain point. So um I, I mean it's cre cream of the crop when it comes to comes to dating sims. I, I I genuinely don't play dating sims, but um I figured this was this was a special case and I I loved it. It was great. It was great. So uh that was that was my weird one this year. I love so much that I, that's the game you fucking Yeah, I say. love this. This is cool. <laughs> this is thank very you, cool. You, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, 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 spent, I spent quite a bit of time playing that, and I was very embarrassed uh, sitting next to my girlfriend while doing it, but I got <laughs> through it, and uh, it was it was great. I had a great experience. So I highly recommend it to anyone who, who wants to get into that. Um, you just got to set up a, a Super Nintendo emulator. It's really yeah. easy. Um, just keep in mind the, the translation is a little rough. And, of course, mm -hmm. buy the game. Wink. Of now, course, yes. By Toki Mickey Memorial on Super <laughs> Famicom. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Anyways, uh, first off, I love this. Second, I think I saw this being mentioned in. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Emmett. Your top the Tim Rod video oh. essays. Is that what this it, was? Almost, because oh, this is wrong? there's a video essay from the same person, uh, oh, Tim Rogers. Okay. Uh, that is uh, Boku no Natsume. Uh, yeah. It's a different game entirely, okay. but he also did a review of this game here, Tokimeki Memorial, because I watched this review like a couple, like a month or two after the Boku no Natsume video. I was like, oh, fuck, I like Tim Rogers now. So I went back to that one. And I'm like, oh, fuck, this video is great, too. I've been missing out. Um, so, yeah, like he Tim Rogers is a great fucking video essayist. Amazing. If you want, Amazing. If you want to look at great video essays, top uh, 22 video essays of the year. I put that out on VG not too long ago. So you can yeah, check that I, out. But, uh, where yeah, can we find that? Emmett? Shout out to uh, Emmett's uh, essay list. He, he killed it. Really great. It's very good. Up. Where can we find that? Emmett? Thank you very much for that shout out. You can find that on VGU.TV, the logo that I think I've been pointing. To. Yeah, there yes. we go. You're I'm pointing it. to it. Yeah. I just had to get the mirror <laughs> right on my on my hands. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I really want to play Tokimeki Memorial. I it's one of those things where like if I just like woke up and I knew Japanese tomorrow, I'd play that first thing. But I have to learn Japanese in order to play this game. But maybe with this English dub or uh, translation, maybe I don't quite have to. We'll see if I want to bastardize the language enough for me to play it. But uh, I'm glad it's accessible in a way where maybe I could try it one day. And it is one of those, it looks beautiful still. Um, oh, yeah. it, it looks yeah, very totally. beautiful, especially given the hardware. It, I mean, the, I looked the at the video art. And it's nuts. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the pixel art they got going on in that game is 
meticulous. So yeah, very, um, yeah. very. The, yeah, the people recommend. looked uh, incredible. Now, moving on to Brandon's, what he brought to the table today. Now, he originally thought backlog meant something that went into your backlog from this year. which I was like, that's a great idea. I'm stealing that for the show. I'm going to take all of the credit for it. And that is, of, of course, course, for me, Midnight Suns. Now, this is a little bit cheating. Mm. I've actually fell in love with this game. Um, but I did not beat the game before our beautiful new year started. So it does not hit the top 10. I'm actually still playing it. This game is so long. We're talking like persona <laughs> length. This thing is <laughs> insanely long, but it's at least good. It takes forever to start. But once you once the get is got, the get is real good. And I very yeah, much enjoy this game. I was actually one of the loudest people I, I think that said I didn't want this. I didn't really want if like the idea of Midnight Sun sounded so cool. And then they were like, and it's a strategy card game. And I was like, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> but when Emmett Watkins Jr. got me into a little game called Slay the Spire that I played this year. Hell it was yeah. Very, very good game. Incredible game. Fell in love with it. Played it for days. Very, I got some very taste addicted in to here, it. by the way. Yeah, we, we do. Some taste going on. Not these other that. podcasts. Oh, kind yeah. of yeah. funny. These other you kidding me? Who are oh, playing stupid <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dumb games. You, there you go. Yeah, I was about to anyway, say you try to think of a game someone else. Yeah, would, yeah, would, yeah I don't know. Game people are playing. Yeah, yeah Gran yeah, Turismo. Fuck out of here. Anyways, Gran Turismo. It's good. It's a good game. Um, but I enjoyed it so much. I once people started saying, hey, hey, it actually does have a kind of Slay the Spire feel. And I was like, I'm in playing the game a little more. They are very meticulous with the detail in the game about how they want to teach you every single aspect of the game. And it is very granular, but you do learn the game. I know this game in and out now because that tutorial was so thorough. But I could see why some people might be turned off on that because it does take way too long to get the game started. But. Once the game started, it is really good. And I cannot believe I'm going to say this, but I actually care about the hunter's story, which is the main character that you create. Can't believe mm. it. I thought this was going to be the most boring part of the game. I thought I, I was just hanging out with Captain America and Iron Man. The whole my whole driver of the game is that that story is actually very good and compelling. And I want to see where we end at. But I did not finish it this year. I'm actually still playing it. And that's why it is my favorite backlog of the year. I respect that. Okay, yeah, I respect that too. I heard great things about that game. I just um it just didn't seem like my vibe. But yeah, um, you really do have to be into turn based, hard based strategy game. Like that that's so many like like to t- thousands of people that hear one word, they're out, and then another word, then they're out. Then you hear strategy and then there's even more people that get out of there. But <laughs> if any yeah, of that sounds true. fun, I do really recommend this game. It is fantastic. Yeah, if. definitely one I want to get around to, too. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have plans, too. Um, it, it's one of those high price games, too, you know? So it's like I have a, you know, I buy so it's many high price games, and yeah. I don't mind buying smaller price games, but Midnight Suns is, like, full price, and I yep. don't know if I want to yeah. want to dip into that quite yet. But I'll be okay. shocked it's, it's, if it's $40 like... now, but give it a couple oh. more months, and it'll start getting to the 30 yeah. range. I'm, yep. I was going to say, get, get into that 30, get into that 20, I'd... I'd probably throw down on that. So yeah, yeah, it's a good, and it's a, it, you will get like very much value because this game is so long, and they made it the way they make it. Not to spoil things, but like they pretty much give you a character at the end of the game to incentivize you to play New Game Plus, and you'll keep um, that character. So I'm like, okay, they really okay. did really want pretty you cool. to play be light or dark because they have a Mass Effect Paragon Renegade system. And oh, then they're like, all right, now New Game Plus, do the other thing and then play with the new character that you get. So. One thing I was curious about is, um, does that game have uh, like, like a like a social element to it? And by social element, I mean, like, do you you interact with the other Marvel characters? Yes. Right. So, like, does that does that affect your combat? And it does, way, actually. Um, so each person like has that. five levels, pretty much of their friendship way you interact with them with dialogue and how you hang out with them and bringing them into battle all increase your level. You can also decrease if you mess some things up, but it's pretty hard to do that. You won't do it too often, but uh, giving them gifts and these things will bring them up. Once you hit max, you get their legendary ability and 
the suit that they keep shoving down your throat in every like ad for this game like the that <laughs> s- special black and gold suit on every ad for this game um and it's very fun to actually because the dialogue is actually very well written surprisingly in the interaction scenes and i usually am listening like pretty intently like what they're talking about and as a comic nerd they <laughs> the stuff they talk about i'm like wow you guys like really read a lot to make sure you understood all of this there's an, they they mention like the elder gods are like in this game and i'm like wow like you're digging deep into like like very crazy stuff to like cornerstone the game but it's very good um do you into that actually yeah yeah i i like um the i i wasn't sure if it had like a social element to like uh to it like that and that interests me a lot i gotta admit um having that persona-esque yes sort of i will say link situation it is weird you can't bang anybody pretty weird especially a fucking t- loser of the year more like fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very weird because some of the dialogue i'm like are you sure we're not gonna fuck right now like what is happening <laughs> what, and what the things are getting hot and, and then the they're MCU, just like i feel like handshaking and then for half away. these people if you interacted with them in that way <laughs> I, guess, probably true, yeah. I guess i guess my idea i'm like get I mary jane in that one comic book run yeah i guess Oof. um Ooh, yeah. yeah, that was really sad. <laughs> very, very. That was really sad. Oh, oof. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, you know, that's all I'm going to say. I can't believe oh, you know man. that, by the way. I mean, that's cool. Um, it's a deep cut. Yeah, it is. Very. But it's strange cut. They probably should have cut it, but yes. <laughs> they probably should have. But I will say um, that is my critique with the game. It is very strange that you can't romance anyone. Peter Parker, known to bang anything that moves, you can't bang. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. You can't bang any of these people. And again, there's a lot of I had someone hit on me. Like literally they were hitting on me. I'm like, what is why did you put this in the game? If you can't do it. So I almost think that they maybe did, but I had to take it out last second or something. I'm not sure. I feel but. like if uh if, if having sex is is the downfall of this game, like you're doing <laughs> pretty good that's right? true like, yeah that's, uh, not, that's not true. bad not it bad. isn't that bad of, of, a, of a read it's like i'm not saying like don't buy it because you can't have sex with any of them it's just <laughs> very strange don't Midnight don't Stones. buy you didn't you bang anyone sex okay <laughs> yeah. what kind of headline is this you can't fuck carl danvers can't crazy <laughs> i know right crazy dude I make them so hot and can't bang it. It's weird. I've been trying to have sex with Wolverine for decades, bro. (laughs) Do you understand? Decades. (laughs) (laughs) Do you understand? Okay. Decades. (laughs) And then then what is your favorite backlog game that you couldn't get to? Favorite backlog game. Uh, this is the one that I kept saying, I swear to God, I'm going to play this, swear to God, I'm going to play this. I'm so interested in this. It seems like absolutely at my alley. The fact that people talk about it with those hushed tones where they're like, oh, it's great. You don't want to hear anything about it, so I'm not going to talk about it. I need to play this. It's Immortality. I got to play Immortality. Oh, man. you Dude. didn't play it, bro. I, I, I thought you'd so get good. to it. Oh, I am, oh. I am oh. such a piece of shit because I literally said, beginning of December, oh, I'm going to get to all these games. December's going to be my month. And then for reasons that, well, me and Elijah discuss off the air, and I can clue you in, too, after we're done recording. Um, things are happening in the personal life that are a little bit more important than playing video games right now. So, uh, yep, haven't gotten into uh, Immortality and a lot of stuff. I'm still, like, five hours into God of War at this point. So, like, oh, I'm, really been slipping. I'm really slipping. Um, but Immortality is the game where I'm, like, because I know it's not even that long. It's like maybe three to six hours, if that. Uh, it's very short. And every time I see clips of it, I've been watching other people's like Game of the Year videos and just them talking about it, gushing about it. And I'm like, I know, I know. I'm going to play it. I just haven't gotten around to it. But uh, that's something I definitely want to make some time for. I want to, one of these days where I'm off of work and I have nothing else scheduled, I want to just sit down there. Kind of like I did this morning. This morning I woke up and just played Forager for like three hours on my Steam deck. So like, uh, ladies I and gentlemen, I'm, I'm going to steal the floor from everyone because you did. That is the most ammit thing I've ever heard in my entire life. The, I, I don't even know what the Forager is, but this is a, this has to be some sort of cookie clicker situation where I keep hearing about it. And I'm like, so how is this critical acclaimed game going and he's like well i loved this indie game that came out 35 years ago it's very good i'm playing it on a backlog ps2 (laughs) 
<laughs> it came out in 2019. It's an indie game that's pretty popular. It's on every platform. It's not that obscure, uh, re- but it is effectively a Flash game. But it's great. <laughs> I respect the obscurity. I, I do. I, I respect I the do. obscure shit. That's, that's why I up. love Emmett. I I don't <laughs> hear a single person talk anything like him and that's what that's what allures him as, as he, he's like a siren call the allure the allure yeah. he's singing, his, yeah. singing us his forester song and, <laughs> yes uh, trying to it draws me draws for sure, for sure. yeah when everyone zigs i zag and yeah i just wish i zigged on this one because immortality looks great and i know it will be great i just it I is got an a, m ass game it. i'm telling you yeah the time like, is i thinking, wish uh, i wish we lived we'll close be. enough so i could drive over grab you and be like play immortality hey we'll like you feel like driving a good four hours <laughs> i could do it i could do it by the time you uh, get here the game is already finished yeah without spoiling too much that is definitely one of my one of my top games of the year and Agreed. um i would say it takes probably closer to like maybe 10 hours if you want to see all the mm, shit it does, going yeah. on so be prepared for that but i quite literally just played through that this last weekend and Ooh. wow I had cool. a great time with it. So that's cool. it, yeah, it, it's like a perfect weekend game. Like it is. I put my whole weekend into immortality and it was my, great. me and my wife did the same thing. We sat down, she got it's sucked in just like I did. Plan, yeah. And yeah. we were like detectives. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, were, we were entranced with, with just uh, like the book, what the was book. going on. And yeah, it, it was a great, like a uh, experience for me and my girlfriend too, actually. Uh, it I, I got to throw that out there. Yeah. It, yep. it, it works well enough where you can, like one person can control and mm-hmm. like multiple people can enjoy it, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much never mind. I'm not gonna say that. Brent. Totally. Good boy. Um okay, yeah, yeah. It's hop back like game. Um something so you could I, get I, to I this I, year. I think I have a bit of a tie here, actually. Mm, um fine. so my my two really big ones that I've been trying to get around to and just haven't been able to is uh Faith over on Steam. It, oh, it, it, it's an it's an Atari thing. an Atari like horror game, um, and also Norco, which is mm. which is sort of an, an a, a deep adventure game sort of shit. I don't even know what the fuck is going on in Norco. If I'm being fully honest, it looks, <laughs> it looks it looks crazy. But yeah, um, the, the vibes I got for Norco are very like uh, it's like rural Mississippi, but like near future totally. where like robots are starting to take the jobs. So it's like that mixture of like like you know the thing that we don't get a lot in games or really media in general where it's like the working man just normal living in the rural south exactly yeah, yeah. It's, it's got like a very uh dirty cyberpunky like sort of southern futuristic vibe going on that i'm super into um and so yeah i plan on getting to that that that's probably i gotta admit above faith a bit um that game looks fucking rad um, and then faith is something I have purchased and I have played maybe the first 20, 30 minutes of and really enjoyed it just at the time. Couldn't couldn't put the time into it. So I had put it down. But um, yeah, both kind of weird, obscure, horror esque uh, of indie games that, that I'm, I've been really, really interested in as of the past year or so. And yeah, I, I, I really, really would like to spend some more time with those. Um, Especially Norco, I gotta admit that 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 might actually take take over Faith, but Norco uh, looks very good. Yeah, it just oh, seems yeah? like a, a really dense and and cool experience. Um, I don't know what I'm normally into more gameplay, what you know esque games, but uh, this past year I've I've sort of been vibing with some more like literature based <laughs> like okay. adventure okay. game sort of bullshit so uh that's kind of what i'm on right now so yeah norco it's on game pass highly recommend somebody goes and checks it out if it sounds like your shit uh, i think it takes place in louisiana um in in the the close future and like you hmm. know shit's just falling apart and people are trying to figure out what's going on so uh yeah yeah Anyway, love it. Love it. It's love my it. backlog game. Yep, I love good. this because you guys are giving me games to play. I have not heard of Norco, so that is definitely something I'm going to be playing now. Yeah, I think I saw Danny O'Dwyer talking about that, and I was like, oh, Danny knows what knows what's up. So yeah, I should probably thought, check that out. 
Yeah, I saw Jacob Geller talking about Norco. Also, yeah, Norco, Geller, I believe, too. is on Game Pass, so check that out. Uh, and Indeed. Faith is one where I've been wanting to play Faith for a minute, but I'm just too much of a coward. It's Like you said, it's one of those like <laughs> NES, like super low-grade type of games, but then every second for a jump scare, it uses rotoscoping. So yep. suddenly it's like a very detailed monster instead of a sprite on the screen, and it's like very shocking. It's that I saw a video from Aaron Signal about that one. So yeah, definitely check that one out too. That's a it's a great one. You have some really good picks. Thank you. Very Thank you. appreciate very, that. Very um, impressive. Yeah, yeah. This look, it's always awesome. Faith. Yeah. Yeah, that game that like, uh, the, the rotoscoping shit they do in that game is is just very kiss. Scary. Looks awesome. So now we're all happy. Let's bring it down a little bit. <laughs> Biggest. <laughs> disappointments biggest disappointments of the last year and i might have to go first yet again because this is something that i actually am very sad that i have